welcome back to Let's Cook Back. Today, I'm gonna be making some lasagna. One of my subscribers commented saying that she wanted lasagna. So we're gonna go ahead and make lasagna today. Thank you, I think her name is Destiny Castillo. I hope I didn't get it wrong. But there's many, many ways of making lasagna. And I um, mean, you know, obviously we're not, I'm, well, I'm not Italian. And this is my way. And actually, I'm gonna show you two ways because some members of the family doesn't like ricotta cheese in it. I love it. So I'm gonna make a small one with some ricotta cheese and then one without it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you both ways how I do it. I think it's pretty simple. And if you guys wanna see something a little extra with like veggies and stuff like that, I also know how to do it. But you know how kids are a little bit picky sometimes. But let's get started with the ingredients. So I'm gonna be using our lasagna um, noodles or um, the sheets. <laughs> Um, however you guys know them for and then some ground beef I have two and a half pounds right here and then I have mozzarella cheese and I'm being lazy today and I do like this brand because it's very very good I actually recommend it but you guys could use any brand that you prefer and um, if I was to make it from scratch it would be like probably in a separate video because to make lasagna sauce it actually takes like an hour an hour and a half to make it because you need to simmer it for a very long time so we're going the easy way today so we're going to use a jar <laughs> this one is really good i am using the tomato and basil and then i have some um, shredded parmesan cheese don't use the parmesan cheese that you guys put like on top of your spaghetti this parmesan cheese to bake it because one time I didn't have the other kind. I put this Parmesan cheese and the, the one I put on top of it, it actually got like toasty and dry and burnt. So go for the other Parmesan cheese that I just showed you. And then for the one that I am gonna use ricotta cheese, I'm gonna use this kind. Well, you can use any kind of ricotta cheese, prefer if it's like whole milk. And then I have half an onion chopped. I have some parsley two garlic cloves that we will mince, two eggs. And to season our meat, I'm gonna use some salt, some black pepper, oregano, some cayenne pepper, and some garlic powder. And if I forget something, we'll show it as we go. <laughs> so I already have some water boiling. Um, we'll let this come to a little bit more boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and add our meat. I put one on teaspoon of oil you could add Italian sausage and I actually like it with Italian sausage but my kids say it tastes a little too greasy I just think they don't like the flavor of it but let's go ahead and break it up I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion the garlic let's go ahead and add some black pepper some salt some garlic powder cayenne a little bit not too much because this one is a little spicy and let's go ahead and let this get brown we're waiting for our meat to get brown we're gonna go ahead and crack our two eggs I took it out a little bit before just so it could be like room temperature so it could be soft and the reason why we add the egg to it, it's so it could stick together. 
and it makes the um our cheese more soft so when we spread it it could be nice and smooth so let's go ahead and add some cheese the shredded parmesan the parsley let's add a little bit of salt and pepper let's go ahead and mix it all together our meat is getting brown but i still see a little pink so i'm gonna let it cook for a little bit longer let's break it up all righty we're gonna go ahead and put our noodles as they shrink they'll get smaller Oh, you know what, you guys? I forgot to add a little bit of salt to the water. So add a little bit of salt. We'll let these um, get smaller, and once they're all in the water, we'll only cook it like for five minutes. You want it all tempted. So, our meat is nice and brown. Let's go ahead and add tomato. Add a little bit of water so you can get everything out. I'm going to add one and a half of the jar just because I want it to be nice and saucy. And then let's add a little bit of oregano. Just a little bit. Let's crush it up. mix everything in if it was for me when I was cooking the meat I would have added some mushrooms some chopped bell peppers even some black olives that tastes so yummy have you guys ever had a spaghetti with a whole bunch of veggies in it it tastes really good you guys should try it maybe I'll show you guys how to make it let's try it Right? For me, it needs a little bit more salt. But since I'm Mexican, I'm going to go ahead and add some North Suiza of the beef kind. I have the little cubes. I'm going to add one. Or you could add some. Let's lower it and we'll let this simmer. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add some parsley, too. I'm telling you guys, sometimes I forget these things. We're going to add some parsley, just a little bit. And a bay leaf. I'll just put one. So it could just simmer with it. And then we'll take it out. Because we don't want that in our lasagna. Let this simmer, okay, for like 20 minutes. It's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and remove our pasta. We'll rinse them under cold water. And you guys, you know that box that says no boil needed? Don't use those. I tried them twice and I threw the food away. They're, they don't cook properly. So it's better to boil your own. So let's go ahead and rinse it with cold water. I'm waiting on my meat and I don't want my pasta to get stuck to each other let's add a little bit of olive oil and just mix it in there that helps your pasta for st from sticking to each other 
but I'm gonna go ahead and do the one without the ricotta cheese first. And you don't have to do this step, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna just um, put a little bit of pan spray on it. We're gonna put a layer. Of meat. The extra sauce that I have, I'm going to add a little bit because I don't want a lot of meat on the bottom. All right, so we're going to start layering them. A little bit overlap. And then we're gonna go ahead and add mozzarella cheese. Some Parmesan. And then we'll do another layer. And then we continue doing the same step. So I did three layers. Let's go ahead and add more meat on top. Okay, you guys. So once you put your last layer on top, Go ahead and cover it with foil paper. We'll cook it for 30 minutes at 375 on Fahrenheit. After 30 minutes, we'll take it out of the oven, add more cheese on top, put it back in the oven uncovered for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one already in the oven. So I'm gonna make the other one in a smaller one. Um, since I don't have too much meat left, have to stretch it so I'm gonna go ahead and add just our sauce at the bottom with no meat so I did put a little bit of um, pan spray as well so let's go ahead and start layering this one So this is our third layer. So let's go ahead and pour it all. Oi, sorry, made a loud noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. 
cover it with foil paper. Well, we actually, we could add a fourth layer because it's a little taller, but we'll leave it with three. <clears throat> three layers. Cover it up, put it in the oven for about 30 minutes as well, and then we'll add cheese like the other one. So it's been 30 minutes. It was nice and um, bubbly. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of our Parmesan and then lots of cheese. We'll put it back in the oven, uncovered for like 10 minutes and it were until, you know, your cheese is nice and melted. Uncovered, okay? We have it already ready and sliced. Um, I let it cool down for 30 minutes so we could get a perfect square cut because if you cut it right away, it will fall apart. And I do have some garlic bread that it's very yummy. I bought this one at Costco. It's this one and it's very good. I actually recommend it. And you just put it in your oven or you do it a stove top, however you want. It has all the instructions back here. But let's give it a try. Oh no, we don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And let's try it. This one is the one with the ricotta cheese. But Very, very good. My best with ricotta cheese. This one's with no ricotta cheese, just layers of meat and cheese. Mm. Very good. But this one is the best. Ricotta cheese gives it a very, very good flavor with this bread mm, it's delicious but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on let's cook that and let me enjoy my meal